we can discuss about microbial nutrition in this video in this video we will also explain how can we classify the bacteria according to their nutritional habit and nutritional requirement now bacteria can be classified based on their energy requirement for the uh, their nutrition as well as ability to synthesize the essential metabolite now first we can discuss about the classification based on their energy requirement for their nutrition Although organism or microorganism can be classified into two phototrophs and chemotrophs. In phototrophs, here the microorganism will use sunlight or light source as the uh, for the energy for the production of their nutrition. And in case of chemotrophs, they may either use energy source from organic compounds or from inorganic compounds. So if it is from organic compound it is known as organotroph or heterotroph and if it is from inorganic compounds the energy production is from inorganic compound it is known as lithotrophs or chemolithotrophs now examples for lithotrophs are nitrifies ion oxidizers sulfur oxidizers methanotrophs and anamox bacteria and in case of heterotrophs these are uh, using energy which are originated from organic compounds and it is again classified into aerobic and anaerobic according to the uh, use of oxygen so if it is aerobic respiration examples are animal most of the bacteria and fungi are the example for uh, aerobic heterotroph or organotrophs and uh, in case of anaerobic the anaerobic respiration by uh, bacteria and examples are dendrifice iron reduces sulfate reduces now coming to the second classification microorganism can be classified according to their ability to synthesize the essential compound it is classified mainly heterotrophic as well as heterotrophic in heterotrophic they will take the food they cannot synthesize the food and they have they will take uh, or uh, they will absorb the preformed organic compounds from the atmosphere or uh, from the decaying materials and in case of heterotroph they can make the food they can prepare their own food by utilizing atmospheric carbon dioxide and nitrogen and capable of independent existence in water now heterotrophic uh, organism are again classified into saprophytic and parasitic saprophytics are the uh, organism which will uh, use the decaying material for their food examples are uh, bacteria of decaying and parasites which uh, will use the uh, organic material which are produced from an host cell so they will uh, act as a parasite on an host example is streptococci and in case of phototrophic it is again classified into photosynthetic and synthetic as well as chemosynthetic photosynthetic they will use the uh, uh, light source for the production uh, using carbon dioxide and uh, uh, nitrogen and example are purple sulf sulfur bacteria and in case of chemosynthetic bacteria they will use chemicals for uh, their production and example is nitrifying bacteria so this is the first classification now based on the source of carbon and source of energy and source of electron microorganism can be classified as uh, autotroph and heterotroph uh, based on carbon uh, sources so in autotroph the carbon source is carbon dioxide and in heterotrophs uh, it is are uh, it will use uh, reduced or preformed organic molecules from other organism as carbon source and in case of energy sources organism is classified into phototrophs and chemotrophs in that uh, uh, the uh, microorganism will use light energy in case of phototrophs and 
In case of chemotrophs, they will use oxidation of organic and inorganic compound for the energy source. And in case of electron sources, organism can be classified into lithotropic and organotropic. Based on uh, uh, lithotropic, they will use the electron from reduced inorganic molecules. And in case of organic compound, they will use organic molecules for their Based on this one, organism can be classified into mainly four that is photolithotropic autotropy. That means photo means they will use light energy and lithotropic they will use a reduced inorganic molecules and autotrophy the carbon source is carbon dioxide. So that is the photolithotropic autotrophy. So here source will be light, carbon dioxide and reduced energy respectively for the uh, energy as well as carbon as well as electron source now example are pur purple sulfur bacteria and green sulfur bacteria and algae second classification is chemo lithotropic autotrophy here chemical energy will be used and in or reduced inorganic molecule will be used for electron source and carbon dioxide will be used for uh, car carbon source an example are sulfur mm -hmm. oxidizing bacteria, hydrogen bacteria, nitrifying bacteria and iron oxidizing bacteria. Now next classification is photo organotrophic heterotrophy. In that uh, light will be the energy source and organic carbon uh, source will be used and organic electron source will be used. Example are purple non-sulfur bacteria, green non-sulfur bacteria. Now chemo organotropic heterotrophy in that chemical energy uh, is the chemical so, uh, energy source and organic carbon are the carbon source and organic electron are the electron sources. Example are protozoa, fungi and non-photosynthetic bacteria. So that is the classification of microorganism based on the uh, nutritional habit. Now microbial nutrients. Nutrients can be classified into mainly three micronutrient, macronutrients and special requirements. So first one is macronutrient. These nutrients will encompasses 95 percentage of the dry weight of bacteria and uh, the atoms like uh, carbon oxygen hydrogen nitrogen sulfur and phosphate are the component of carbohydrates lipid protein and nucleic acid and also some uh, atoms like calcium potassium magnesium iron uh, exist as cation and having varied role potassium is essential for the activity of several enzymes calcium for heat resistance in some bacterial endospores magnesium as a cofactor for enzyme for in complex with ATP and iron is a part of cytochrome uh, cofactor for the enzyme as well as electron carrying protein. Now second one is micronutrient they are required in a little amount like manganese, zinc, cobalt, copper, molybdenum, nickel and uh, sodium. In this uh, they have some role uh, sodium for cofactor for permease then iron for uh, related to enzyme cytochrome catalyze and succinyl dehydrogenase molybdenum for cofactor for nitrogenase na and cl minus required for halophiles and zinc copper cobalt monoplenium are required for to activate enzymes and third one is special requirement sometimes along with the macronutrients and micronutrients some uh, microorganism have a particular requirement which will reflect their special nature on their morphology as well as environment. For example, diatoms. Diatoms, they require silicic acid to prepare wall with the silica. Without the presence of silicic acid, they will not produce the silica in their cell wall. So it is a special requirement for them. Uh, carbon, hydrogen and oxygen which are macronutrients and they are required for the backbone of all organic molecules. Carbon sources are usually provide energy, hydrogen and uh, oxygen. Uh, then carbon dioxide is, is another, another carbon source but does not produce the energy uh, and other elements. 
so uh, that is carbon hydrogen and oxygen now coming to the nitrogen it is an essential macronutrient used to form protein purine pyrimidine ca uh, and carbohydrate and lipase and some enzyme cofactor so the microorganism absorb this nitrogen from atmospheric gases through nitrogen fixation as well as from inorganic nitrogen compounds like nitrate nitrite ammonium salt and organic nitrogen compound like amino acid and peptides so these are the sources of nitrogen for the bacteria now another macronutrient is sulfur and phosphorus sulfur is essential for the biosynthesis of amino acid like cysteine and methionine and phosphor which is required for the synthesis of nucleic acid as well as atp phospholipids and several cofactors and these are obtained from uh, nutrients atmosphere as well as from inorganic ions like sulfate and phosphate so that is a sulfur and phosphate now last one is growth factors so these are the organic compound which are required but cannot be synthesized by the microorganism that is the growth factor and this compound and its precursor cannot be synthesized by bacterial cell so there are three major classes of growth factor amino acid which are required for the protein synthesis purine and pyrimidine for nucleic acid synthesis and uh, vitamins which are uh, required for the uh, many uh, cofactor for enzymes so that is the growth factor now the knowledge of specific growth factor is very important and it will help or it will assist in the identification isolation as well as for the microbiological assay of that uh, vitamin or that growth factor so here uh, in this table we are showing some growth factor and they are uh, requiring microorganism for example bacillus anthracis the growth factor is thiamine so if we are adding thiamine into a uh, nutrient media in which we are going to uh, isolate this bacillus anthracis it will help to uh, isolate or uh, or culture more bacillus anthracis like that riboflavin uh, which is uh, required by organism colobacter vibrioides and biotin saccharomyces cerevisiae pyridoxine lactobacillus species cyanocobalamin lactobacillus species as well as several algae and pantothenic acid paramecia so these are the some growth factor and the organism which require that growth factor so these are all about the classification of microorganism according to the nutritional habit as well as classification of nutrients so these are some question which are seen in question paper nutritional requirement of bacteria for five marks classify bacteria according to the nutritional requirement classify bacterial nutrients that means macronutrient micronutrients and special requirements and what is the difference between macronutrients and micronutrients so these are the some important questions seen in question paper hope it is clear thank you for watching this video